So something not very many people know about me is that, yeah, um, in a galaxy far, far away, I wrote a book a long time ago. Um, a lot of what I do hinges on a leap, a twist. So without giving too much away, something changes and then it's off to the races. So I'm going to give you the day Walt Whitman met Lao Tzu. The day Walt Whitman met Lao Tzu was a very strange day indeed when Dolly's lost granddaughter mistakenly gave her Picasso's ear. Elvis, Jimmy, Janice, Kurt, and, well, just about everybody else was passing joints in Nancy's living room, and for once, everything worked on the literal level. Shame about the books, though. It said I even ate one or two. In any case, I was otherwise occupied when the great event happened. Two white hairs passed on a dirt road, leading nowhere in both directions. Lao Tzu whistling to himself, captive audience. Walt Whitman nodded, and it stopped them in their steps. Too much words, too much time spinning us ever so swiftly, softly toward the great unique oneness of self. Then Lao Tzu walked on, smiling because the day was so new. Walt also smiling. It was a very strange day indeed.